neighbors discover man's terrible secret in a shed on his property if the movies rear window or the burbs taught us anything it's that you never really know what your neighbors are actually about they may put on a nice pleasant and perfectly normal face in public but be entirely different in private but when Gail Rose 30 year old daughter went missing in the middle of the night she had no idea that foul play was involved nor was she prepared for what she would uncover as she pressed further into her investigation Jennifer Elliott was missing her mother Gail Rowe who lives with her daughter and her grandson hadn't seen Jennifer since they went to bed at about 1 30 a.m. Gail was hit with a strange feeling she got up and checked all the bedrooms but Emily was nowhere to be found officers were on the scene almost immediately after the call they checked the neighborhood but were unable to find any signs of Emily anywhere by lunchtime the next day they had exhausted all possible leads Jennifer Elliott was now officially a missing person but her mother wasn't about to leave the search solely to the police Gail Rowe began searching the neighborhood on her own she couldn't explain it but she had a feeling that Emily was somewhere close eventually her friend Tracy accompanied her in the search then just as they were headed back to their house they heard what sounded like crying from the next door neighbor's shed the desperate mother began pounding on the side of the shed shouting Jennifer if you're there peck again so we know you're in there we'll get you out they waited and listened after what felt like a lifetime they heard a faint crying saying e help even if it wasn't Jennifer someone needed their help try as they might they couldn't get the shed open police soon arrived on the scene and found the shed was bolted shut with a padlock they broke out the bolt cutters and got to work but to their surprise found no one inside the shed the police began searching all over the inside of the shed Emily was nowhere to be seen next they tore up the floorboards thinking that perhaps he had hidden her under them somehow after tearing up a few boards they found it a hole dug in the earth and at the bottom of it was Jennifer Elliott officers then pulled the 30 year old Jennifer from the pit though it was only about three and a half feet deep and two feet in diameter it had been covered with boards and heavy objects a slight woman like Emily never would have been able to shift those objects on her own Jennifer was completely unable to speak when she was found she was in shock almost apoplectic Thankfully, there were no obvious signs of any sort of physical injury, but whatever he had put her through must have been traumatic Despite being rescued Jennifer was not out of the woods yet One of the officers observed that her silence and shock might actually be some sort of seizure as it turned out He was right Jennifer had battled seizures nearly all her life the entire way to the hospital She was in and out of seizures Every time she would wake up from the seizure thing she would try to run and she's screaming. No, she was terrified said Gail's friend Tracy she was immediately hospitalized and made a full recovery once she was properly awake she told police who would put her in the pit Jennifer told them that their neighbor and the sheds owner Dennis Dunn was responsible for taking her officers arrested the 45 year old man at about 8 a.m. according to officers at the scene he came to the door in a nonchalant manner acting as if nothing at all was wrong Dennis Dunn's criminal record wasn't exactly squeaky clean he was arrested for drug possession at three separate times in 2007 2008 and 2009 not to mention a string of traffic related charges yet these misdemeanors were nothing compared to the escalation he exhibited when taking Jennifer the local sheriff's office reported a history of incident involving Dennis Dunn and Jennifer Elliott in October of 2016 Emily reported to police that her next-door neighbor had been harassing her with phone calls and text messages at the time she thought they were creepy but harmless and declined to press charges the abuse continued when he kidnapped her as well according to Emily Dunn would alternate between uncharacteristic pleasantries and downright abuse when he closed the shed door he said I love you explained Jennifer he would make threats and call me a piece of Dunn's history of mental illness would explain this behavior as well several months before the incident neighbors reported that Dunn was in his yard screaming and brandishing a pistol he was disarmed and talked down without any violence occurring but was subsequently admitted to Claremont Mercy Hospital for a psychological evaluation it was clear that Dunn was in real need of inpatient mental health but was released from the hospital with a clean bill of mental health after only a short stay his paranoia worsened after he was released when he called police four times in a month claiming intruders were trying to break in a woman who identified herself as Dunn's best friend spoke out about him afterwards she was shocked and terrified that someone she had known for years was even capable of kidnapping and imprisoning another woman he was a good guy it's just really scary knowing that I've known somebody for five years and 
wouldn't see something like that. Friends and neighbors couldn't believe that anything like this could happen in their neighborhood. Jennifer and her family are the sweetest people you'd ever want to know, said neighbor Lisa Crawford. I get chills thinking about it. I've got three kids. I can imagine. After his arrest, Dunn's father weighed in as well. Dunn's elderly father showed up at the scene later that morning to apologize to the police for having to deal with his son. Meanwhile, Dunn was charged with kidnapping and will go before a grand jury. If he's found guilty, he could face up to 30 years in prison. I'm just lucky we found her because if we hadn't found her, she'd be dead, Gail Rose said of her daughter when it was all said and done. Her determination to find her daughter not only saved Jennifer's life, but her abductor as well. Indeed, if she hadn't found her so quickly, Jennifer's seizures would have surely resulted in her accidental death and a life sentence or worse for Dennis Dunn. Please share this video with your friends below.